today on the corporate media, they've been talking about how Europe is back to 2000, prior to 2008 levels. And they're saying, oh, it's an incredible recovery. Well, they forgot to mention there are negative interest rates. They forgot that they're creating a huge amount of currency out of thin air. They forgot that they're purchasing corporate bonds. They forgot that they're propping up banks all over Europe. I mean, they left all that out. And they left out that they're manipulating the statistic, the statistical information. Now, they completely just left all that out. And what they're trying to convince the world once again that everything is fine. They did this back in 2013, if you all remember. We mentioned this many, many times. Back in August, when they were going after Assad with the sarin gas talks, uh, Europe, France, even Obama, he was out in Phoenix, Arizona, stating that the housing market is in full recovery, nothing to worry about. President Hollande in France was saying, oh, incredible, we're going to see unemployment come down. France is looking to do incredible things in the economy, and of course, none of this really happened. Europe was saying, after this summer in 2013, things are going to take off like you've never seen before. Well, again, none of this happened. Instead, what do we get? We got money printing. We got negative interest rates. We got manipulation of statistical information. We got more debt. So what has really changed? Well, things have gotten a lot worse. Yes, they can tell the public through propaganda channels that everything is fine. But when you put everything together, it isn't. And they're continually trying to convince everyone that Greece is doing fine. But they're in more and more debt every single day. And now we see the unemployment rate is ticking up again. I mean, back in December of 2015, the unemployment came down to 24.3. Now it came, now it's back up to 24.4, and it looks like it's going up once again. And this shows us that we're not out of the woods. We're not even close. Yes, they can manipulate. They can use propaganda. They can say, yes, everything is fine. But all the underlying economics is telling a different story. We see here in the United States, Umich, the consumer sentiment. Well, people have lost hope. It has slipped to 89 from 89.7. They thought it was going to increase. And what we're seeing right now is that people are looking at the economy. They don't believe the stock market anymore. And they're saying, what is going on here? Something is terribly wrong. We're seeing more and more layoffs. We're seeing factories close. Caterpillar, they're shutting five U.S. plants, laying off 820 people. Sales are in the toilet right now. IBM sales are imploding. Companies are not doing well. Even Apple. People are like, you know what? I'm just going to keep my iPhone. I lost my job. I can barely make the payments for the service. I can't go out for a new iPhone at this point. So people are keeping their iPhone and sales are slowing everywhere. And people right now, they're not spending. They're not spending their money. And we see right now uh, more information has come out that spending only moved up by 0.1%. They were expecting 0.2%, but it was 0.1%. Spending on durable goods, well, that completely tumbled. And it is absolutely off. And that's washers, dryers, the big ticket items. Because people are looking at their situation. They're hearing layoffs in their companies. They're nervous. And there are people that are being laid off. And guess what? They're saying, okay, you know what? We're not doing these big purchases right now. And it's showing up in the market. And we see that retail is continually contracting at this point. Chicago PMI, well, that has dumbled, uh, tumbled. We had a dead cat bounce. And guess what? Well, that is over. It has declined from 53.6 to 50.4. They were hoping to get a 52.6, but it just didn't happen. And it looks like uh, the large orders and international demand, it is just not there. And when we look at this, we see that things had this dead cat bounce, and now 
we're trending downward. Now, the Baltic Dry Index, we know during this time period, it is seasonal, and it has climbed to over 700 points, but this is the second day in a row that it has come down. It's down 7 points. It's down to 703. And most likely, this is going to continually slide as we go throughout the summer because I think what has happened at this point is whatever they were going to produce is produced at this point. No new orders are coming in and we don't need the raw material. And as more and more layoffs come in, guess what? People aren't going out shopping. They're not buying retail. They're not buying the big ticket items. Factories will not produce and we see manufacturing, it is in the, it, it's continually declining. They're not going to order the raw material and this has a chain reaction going all the way back and we see that we're going down this path once again. Now GDP came in for the first quarter at 0.5 percent. The second quarter they're predicting right now at 1.8. Now they said it was going to be 3 percent then 2.5 percent then 2.3 percent. Now here we are at 1.8 percent. Now if you take out the manipulation because you have to remember, they went back to 1929, they added in research and development and other things. They recalculated GDP all the way up to the present day to get these positive, incredible numbers. They include Obamacare, they include inventories, they push numbers into inventories. And we see at this point, all of this manipulation at this time is coming to an end. And I don't mean they're going to stop manipulating. I mean that manipulation of the statistical numbers it's losing its luster. They can't manipulate these numbers up high enough because the real economic data continually pulls it down much, much further. So I wouldn't be surprised if all of a sudden they start changing the way they completely calculate everything to get these numbers back up. Because what we're seeing right now is that everything is a complete disaster. And we are heading into that range right now where things are going to continually slide. The president's going to come out and try to convince everyone that things are getting better as time goes on. And this is what happens during a period of the economy falling apart. Think about 2008. Now, the economy was declining very rapidly, moving into the summer, going into the fall. And we had the Fed out there. We had the U.S. government out there convincing the people at that point in time that everything is contained, everything is fine, don't worry about it. The economy will be improving. Uh, Lawrence Yen was out there, um, and he was, and he's from the National Association of Realtors, telling everyone that real estate is going to be bouncing back um, during the winter months of 2008, so don't worry about that. He sees signs that real estate is picking up, and they tried to convince us that the economy was doing well. And what happened? We completely crashed. So you're going to see the central bank. You're going to see Obama. You're going to see all these people come out more often now to convince you that the economy is doing well. And we, we've already seen it start. And this tells us something. Now, we also see an indicator that gold has moved up quite a bit. I mean, it almost hit 1300 or so. It's coming very, very close. And we see it took a very big jump today. And this is one of these signals, signs that tells us that things are rapidly falling apart. And I mentioned this in previous reports. And this is something that we need to watch. This is a whisper letting you know that things are going to accelerate down the line. Now, are they going to suppress gold? Most likely Sunday, Monday morning, all of a sudden we'll see gold push down. Now, how much they push it down, we'll have to wait and see. Now, if they only can get it to come down, you know, five, ten, fifteen dollars, we know they're having a very tough time and the next leg up is going to be even more. And this is something we need to watch and watch very carefully because this is a whisper. It's letting us know that things are rapidly falling apart. And this is telling you, get prepared. I mean, for Obama to come out and the Fed to have emergency meetings, this is a whisper from the universe telling everyone, okay, something is up. And everyone's spidey senses should be tingling at this point, realizing something is going on. Because the last time this happened, the housing market completely imploded. Now, we see that U.S., Canada, 
They have fallen behind Russia as the biggest wheat exporter. And because of all the GMO foods and things like that, other countries don't want the agricultural products from the United States. And we're starting to see that more and more countries are buying wheat from Russia and less countries are buying from uh, the United States and Canada. And as we move forward, we're seeing we're losing manufacturing, we're losing agriculture, we're losing pretty much a lot that we used to do here in the United States. And as time goes forward, this is just going to get worse. It's not going to get better. Manufacturing is going to decline even further. Agricultural products are going to decline as we move forward. And we see that the economy of the United States, it is imploding, declining. And at this point, there's nothing the central bank can do. Yes, they're going to try to do certain things. They'll probably try to print more currency, but you know that makes it worse. And what's happening right now is the complete destruction of the economy as we move forward. And we can see already from the beginning of this year till now that things have gotten drastically worse. They haven't gotten any better. Yes, we've had a short period of uh, a dead cat bounce or manipulation to make everyone feel good about it, about the whole entire situation. But we can see that ra things are rapidly uh, deteriorating and the real economic information that we've been looking at is overshadowing the government fed illusionary statistical information. And as we move later into this year, it's going to get worse the real economic indicators are going to take over. They won't be able to manipulate anymore um, to make it sound like the economy is doing well. And it looks like we are quickly approaching that time when things really fall apart and people start to get worried. Companies start to use the excuse, now we can lay off people. And once this starts and once people realize that they need to get into gold. We're going to see gold rise, silver rise, layoffs continue, sales decline, hitting the statistic, the statistical information. Now they completely just left all that out. And what they're trying to convince the world once again that everything is fine. They did this back in 2013, if you all remember, and we mentioned this many, many times back in August when they were going after Assad with the sarin gas talks, uh, Europe, France, even Obama, he was out in Phoenix, Arizona, stating that the housing market is in full recovery, nothing to worry about. President Hollande in France was saying, oh, incredible, we're going to see unemployment come down. France is... Today on the corporate media, they've been talking about how Europe is back to 2000, prior to 2008 levels. And they're saying, oh, it's an incredible recovery. Well, they forgot to mention there are negative interest rates. They forgot that they're creating a huge amount of currency out of thin air. They forgot that they're purchasing corporate bonds. They forgot that they're propping up banks all over Europe. I mean, they left all that out. And they left out that they're manipulating. Yes, they can manipulate. They can use propaganda. They can say, yes, everything is fine. But all the underlying economics is telling a different story. We see here in the United States, Umich, the consumer sentiment. Well, people have lost hope. It has slipped to 89 from 89.7. They thought it was going to increase. And what we're seeing right now is that people are looking at the economy. They don't believe the stock looking to do incredible things in the economy. And of course, none of this really happened. Europe was saying, after this summer in 2013, things are going to take off like you've never seen before. Well, again, none of this happened. Instead, what do we get? We got money printing. We got negative interest rates. We got manipulation of statistical information. We got more debt. So what has really changed? Well, things have gotten a lot worse. Yes, they can tell the public through propaganda channels that everything is fine. But when you put everything together, it isn't. And they're continually trying to convince everyone that Greece is doing fine.
but they're in more and more debt every single day. And now we see the unemployment rate is ticking up again. I mean, back in December of 2015, the unemployment came down to 24.3. Now it came, now it's back up to 24.4, and it looks like it's going up once again. And this shows us that we're not out of the woods. We're not even close. We got negative interest rates. We got manipulation of statistical information. We got more debt. So what has really changed? Well, things have gotten a lot worse. Yes, they can tell the public through propaganda channels that everything is fine, but when you put everything together, it isn't. And they're continually trying to convince everyone that Greece is doing fine, but they're in more and more debt every single day. And now we see the unemployment rate is ticking up again. I mean, back in December of 2015, the unemployment came down to 24.3. Now it came now it's back up to once again that everything is fine. They did this back in 2013, if you all remember. We mentioned this many, many times. Back in August, when they were going after Assad with the sarin gas talks, uh, Europe, France, even Obama, he was out in Phoenix, Arizona, stating that the housing market is in full recovery, nothing to worry about. President Hollande in France was saying, oh, incredible, we're going to see unemployment come down. France is looking to do incredible things in the economy and of course none of this really happened europe was saying after this summer in 2013 things are going to take off like you've never seen before well again none of this happened instead what do we get we got money printing 24.4 and it looks like it's going up once again and this shows us that we're not out of the woods we're not even close yes they can manipulate they can use propaganda they can say Yes, everything is fine, but all the underlying economics is telling a different story. We see here in the United States, Umich, the consumer sentiment. Well, people have lost hope. It has slipped to 89 from 89.7. They thought it was going to increase. And what we're seeing right now is that people are looking at the economy. They don't believe the stock market anymore. And they're saying, what is going on here? Something is terribly wrong. We're seeing more and more layoffs. We're seeing factories close. Caterpillar, they're shutting five U.S. plants, laying off 820 people. Sales are in the toilet right now. IBM sales are imploding. Companies are not doing well. Even Apple. People are like, you know what? I'm just going to keep my iPhone. I lost my job. I can barely make the payments for the service. I, I can't go out for a new iPhone as, at this point. Today on the corporate media, they've been talking about how Europe is back to 2000, prior to 2008 levels. And they're saying, oh, it's an incredible recovery. Well, they forgot to mention they're in negative interest rates. They forgot that they're creating a huge amount of currency out of thin air. They forgot that they're purchasing corporate bonds. They forgot that they're propping up banks all over Europe. I mean, they left all that out. And they left out that they're manipulating the statistic, the statistical information. Now, they completely just left all that out. And what they're trying to convince the world once